वेलकम यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास थ्री थर्ड नंबर क्लास इन विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द कंडक्शन एंड देन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कोफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कंडक्टिविटी इन डिटेल सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग कंडक्टिविटी टूडे इज आवर टॉपिक इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंडक्शन ऑफ हीट फॉर दप्लीकेशन so if we have studied about if we have learned about the conduction of heat then you must be able to understand how what are the applications of conduction of the heat so this is the most important thing to understand uses of good conductors uses of good conductors are metals metal objects below our body temperature feel colder than those made of wood plastic glass it is because heat from our body conducts away quickly into the conductors and contact them into bad conductors both at the same temperatures so this is the reason at the same time when we can uh, contact with make contact with the two object one is the wood other one is the metal the metal gets you feel colder the reason is that mat metals are conductor and you, the they start transferring heat from your body to the metal side so that's why you feel colder but in case of bad conductor of the wood uh, heat is transfer of heat is not taking place so that's why the, there is you feel the temperature difference now the metal objects having temperature above our body temperature feel hotter on contact with those bad of made of bad conductor why because it is because the conduction of heat transfer takes place from one end to the other end and then bad conductors when we touch this metal knob of door on cold day uh, with hand and wood portion of the same door with the other hand we feel metal knob is much colder than the wooden portion even though they are at the same temperature the same fact is felt when the walk with bare feet on the marble floor followed by walking on a carpet we will feel again marble floor is colder than the carpet So this is these are some of the applications these are the some of the most important applications of the conduction of the heat what what are the conductors and all the conductors are playing very much important role Conduct, conductors are the, those types of the substances in which the transfer of the heat takes place with the faster and where it is slower we are not feeling the difference where it take, takes the transfer of the heat in case of metals if this 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 is the cold weather you feel more colder by its hot weather you feel hotter because the temperature of the metal is more and that uh, type of the heat transfer takes place in our body during the summer season so that's how we feel hotter so here are some other applications good conductors are used when quicker transfer of heat so is required to body thus cook, cooker cooking plates kettles boiler radiator and condensers of etc etc is made of metal such as aluminium or steel why because soldering iron rod are made of iron with the its tip because copper uh, made of copper because <clears throat> copper is a good um, better conductor of heat you need to conduct more and more heat you need to use a quality of a good conductor so that it the transfer of the heat becomes more faster so during the time when you are cooking for the cooking purpose you need to use a, a type of the container which is a material which is made of good conductor so if you have cooked it then you have to place it in a type of the material which is good insulator so that keep it keep for the long time the temperature it maintains the temperature for a long time and due to bad conduction there will be no transfer when you have placed the cooked food inside so here it is sauce pan here are the examples to understand these are some of the examples metallic objects which are used to make the cooking more easier to make uh, the transfer of the heat faster so this is the reason we, we apply the basic principles of conduction of heat to cons to use the utensils and other uh, types of the uh, cook uh, items which are used for cooking and other uh, transfer of the heat purpose so mercury is used thermometer as a good as it is a good conductor why mercury is a metal and it's a good conductor of heat so that's why it is used in case of uh, thermometer for its material 
So here it is, mercury thermometer. Mercury is a good conductor of heat, so that's why it is used in case of mercury thermometer. So use of bad conductors. This is also important. Uh, this also plays an important role in our life. We use some types of the bad conductors to stop the flow of the heat. To to make we take different types of steps so that the heat transfer is minimum. Bad conductors are used in home appliances such as handles of saucepan, hot pots, spoons. You see, they get hot. It will be very difficult for you to handle. So that's why the handles of these cooking utensils are made of insulators. So make it makes easier for you to hold to catch. Table mats are usually made of cork so that uh, kitchen wares can be placed and without damaging the top of the table. So we place some objects, insulator types of the objects on which you have to place any hot type of the object which is cooked. So it prevents the flow of the heat and damaging the surface of the table. So here it is. If you look at corks, corks are made by insulators. So they prevent the flow of the heat outside. So another example is if you see the kitchen utensils, the these are the handles which are made of wood and they, they prevent the transfer of the heat to your hand and you are feeling comfortable when you are handling these types of utensils or the instruments in your uh, kitchen. So here is an, uh, another example of uh, uh, the kitchen utensil where you are using plastic or any, rubber, any other types of the material which is poor conductor so that you can hold it uh, comfortably. So there is, it's not damaging your, your hands are not burned. So this is the main purpose and basic principle which you are applying behind this is you simply you are trying to stop the transfer of the heat to your hands. Sawdust is used to cover ice block because of good insulating character. Bird have feathers to trap air, air is insulator, will minimize heat loose from their warm bodies to the cold surrounding during winter or rainy season. Do you know what happens? We use sweater, we use jackets in winter, and birds also have feathers. They, 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 they use their feathers to trap the air inside. Why? Because air is insulated. And what happens basically? Why we wear sweaters and other types of objects or jackets? Basically, our body after eating and digestion is producing huge amount of energy. And when this energy passes quickly outside to the surrounding, that's the time when we feel colder. So what we do, we, we by using different types of techniques at our body surface, we trap the air between body and the sweater of the jackets. That air is basically insulated and it permits the flow of the heat from your body to the surrounding. So that's why we feel warmer. Basically, we are trying to stop our own heat to transfer outside. Same is the techniques used by the feather. Same is the technique used by the other types of the fur carrying animals. Human beings need cloths to tap air to keep the body warm. So Here it is, the woolen cloths. They are trapping air inside and they prevent to flow. They stop the flow of flowing of the heat from your body to the outside. So here is another example. If you see the fur or the bear, polar bear, having too much air on the body, air is traps, trapped in it, so it prevents the flow of the heat from his body to the outside. So it, during the intense or the extreme weather condition, is, uh, these bears are surviving. So wooden, uh, wooden lead needles are very useful for stirring or uh, scooping. Woolen blankets or cloths are used to keep our body the people warm on cold day. So that's the reason. Simple, I have already discussed how the air is trapped inside these woolen types of the objects and uh, air is insulated and it stops the flow of the heat which is moving from your body to the surrounding. So that's why you're keeping yourself warm. Fiberglass felt and expanded polystyrene foam, which trap large amount of air employed as insulators in the walls of the house. Ice box and refrigerator. These are insulator types of the objects which stop the flow of the heat from inner to out or from outer to inner side. So here these are styrofoams. So with this, our class hands, I hope you people have enjoyed and understood it. Thank you very much for your attention.